If you're ready for the word, say word, and uh, we will continue with God's word tonight. It's so good to have you. Thank you so very much for joining me tonight in this atmosphere. We are on the late night gospel train, and I'm going to share a word entitled Weighed Down. Weighed Down. Are you weighed down? Um, the scripture reference is he, um, Hebrews 12 and verse 1b, 1a, I'm sorry, 1a. And I posted it for those of you on our YouTube channel. I did post it earlier on in the chat. Um, weighed down. And 1A says this. Therefore, since we are surrounded by great, by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders. That's where we're going to stop. Let us throw off everything that hinders. Yes, let us throw off everything that hinders. Amen. Let's go into God's word tonight. Hebrews 11 and verse 1a. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you, Jesus. Ever had to run while wearing a heavy backpack? Um, I, I, I tend to always wonder how my son walk around with such a, a, a backpack. Big backpack. It don't look like much is in there, but it seems it just looks heavy on his back. But have you ever walked around with a heavy backpack on your back? When we when we carry anything heavy, it makes running really challenging. Yeah, it makes running really, really challenging. It slows us down for sure, and it can cause us to stumble. Mm -hmm. Can cause us to fall. It's the same in our lives, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, brothers and sisters. It is the same in our lives. When we carry heavy burdens around with us, we are weighted down and can stumble in our Christian journey. We can stumble in our Christian journey. But the Bible says, let us throw off everything that hinders us. And the sin that so easily entangles. Let us run with perseverance. The race marked out for us. So we can throw off our burdens. We can throw them off. Firstly. How can we throw off our burdens? Firstly. We need to acknowledge the things that are weighing us down first. Acknowledge those things. Acknowledge the things that are weighing you down. Amen? Sometimes it's easy to identify our burdens. Maybe it's a family issue. Stress at work or at school. Your university, college. A sin which we can't break free from. Or hurt from the past. Other times, there are other, other times when we can feel weighed down without realizing why. God, God can show us. God can show us the things we need to work through. The psalmist prayed, and the psalmist says, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me, try me, and know my anxious thoughts. See, Lord, see if there is any offensive way in me. That's what Psalm 139 and verse 23 and 24 says. See if there is any offensive way in me. And we can pray the same prayer today like the psalmist did. Secondly, we need to work through our burdens. Mm-hmm. Not everything we're carrying can easily be thrown off. Let me say that again. Not everything you and I are carrying can easily be thrown off. Some things need to be dug out. Dug out of our lives. Some things need to be processed before we can let them go. Listen to me. God's he is gentle with us and will help us work through our problems step 
by step. Step by step. That's what I want to encourage somebody today with. And finally, we need to get into the habit of handing all our problems over to God. Are you hearing me tonight? We need to get into the habit of handing over, handing over all our problems to God. Yes. The Bible says, the Bible says this in Psalm 55 and verse 22. Cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will sustain you. All right. Every time we discover something that's weighing us down, we need to give it to the Lord. We need to give it to God. Every time you find that this thing is weighing me down, this thing is weighing you down, give it to the Lord and keep running. Don't stop. Don't stop. Just keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Every time you find you discover this thing that is weighing you down, just give it over to the Lord and just keep on moving. Keep on moving. Don't stop. So what now, you might ask? What now? Where do I go from here? What, what do I do from here? Some of you might not be able to go outside according to what is happening in our surroundings right now. But walk around your house. Walk around your house. or Yeah, walk around your house. Inside. You can do this inside. Walk around your house and do your daily task or work. Do your daily task while carrying a heavy bag. <laughs> <laughs> Walk around while carrying a heavy bag and tell God about any burdens that's in your life right now. After a few minutes, put the bag down and carry on. Let's try that exercise. Everybody, you get something in your house that's really heavy and walk around with it while you're still doing your, your stuff. Put, put that bag on your back while you're still doing your work. And after a while, after a while, just lay that bag down, put it down, and carry on. Tell God about any burdens that's in your life right now. As you're going around without the weight, ask him. Just ask the Lord to help you. Ask him to help you. Throw off everything that's weighing you down in life. Ask the Lord. Ask the Lord tonight. Ask him tomorrow. Whenever you do this exercise, ask God to help you throw off everything that's weighing you down in life. Everything. Everything. Even in your thoughts. The things that are weighing you down in life. Ask God to help you. Ask him to help you through this. These are my words to you tonight. Don't be bogged down. Don't be walking around with those bags on your back. Give them to the Lord. He's not afraid of your weight. <laughs> Let me tell somebody again. God is not afraid of your weight. So give it all to him. Take that bag off your back and give it to the Lord. Take it to the Lord tonight. Take it to him and he will carry on with you while you finish your journey. God bless you and God keep you and may his face shine upon you and give you peace tonight. In Jesus name, we worship the Lord and we bless him. I just want to thank the Lord for this word tonight and what he's about to do in your life by laying off the weight so you can carry on. Here's a song that Cheval Franklin sings, I Prevail. Bye. The blood of Jesus, I prevail over sickness by the blood.
is real gospel music. Gospel Live 3. is real gospel music all gospel the station for the people gl365 radio Such a timely song for such a time as this. <laughs> I prevail over sickness, over all diseases. I prevail. Come on, claim it tonight. Come on, declare it tonight that I prevail. <laughs> prevail. I prevail. Come on, church. I prevail. I prevail. That's right. Whatever you're going through tonight, declare that you will prevail. Declare it tonight that you will prevail. That you will go through it. That you will go through it. And on the other side, you're going to come out victorious. <laughs> That's right, I prevail. Chevelle Franklin. Your number one station, pointing souls to Christ. Gospel Live 365.